Hey everybody, what's going on? Thanks for tuning in to another video of One Tool a Week. Uh, if you're new to the channel, we take a look at tools every week. So if you love tools, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. What is it that we're going to be taking a look at this week? Well, somebody in the comments went ahead and asked for me to do a one-year review on my work boots, which happens to be... A Hey everybody, what's going on? Thanks for tuning in to another video of One Tool A Week. Uh, if you're new to the channel, we take a look at tools every week. So if you love tools, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. What is it that we're going to be taking a look at? Well, it's been a year already since I purchased my work boots that I have right now. And somebody went ahead and asked me in the comments below to make a review. So this week, we're going to be taking a look at these babies right here. These right here. Now, these are going to be my Rio Flex right here that were purchased by red wings or purchased by me and made by red wings and they're of course the real flex and it's going to be one year that i have purchased them so if you ask me guys this is probably one of the best sliding work boots that i've currently own and of course they are clean i cleaned them up before i'm making this video that way you could see what's going on and what's not so as you can see uh the leather's pretty much intact but you do have some let me see if i could zoom in you do have some rough patches where the leather seems to be coming off from there but everything seems to be intact now the only wear for the most part was this side over here which i ended up cutting the leather on the front but besides that it is going to be all intact now of course this is one year of working uh the boots and having them on putting them on every day monday through friday and of course saturday and sunday for the overtime and double time now if you see the paint this is going to be paint if you're asking why i got paint on my boots well it's cold here in texas to paint every gas line outside that way the uv light doesn't kill it now the boots have been great they are super comfortable and there is wear in the back where my insole or midsole was worn out the bottom has some wear at the top and the very bottom and of course i did use the steel toe a whole lot now they were super heavy guys i will say that on the most part they were heavy but they are just an amazing comfortable boot the leather ended up just being super comfortable and always having them i will say that uh, as far as waterproof i did use them a whole lot when it was raining outside but for the most part i do have muck boots which i'll leave in the comments or a link above that way you could see i use muck boots for the most part when it's super rainy or it's super wet outside or if i have to get inside a trench or something i will use muck boots or some overalls that I do end up having. Now, of course, guys, this is one year of beating up. These were waterproof, they were electrical proof, and on top of that, they set me back about $254.94. Now, I did end up buying some insoles on the inside, which set me back another $89. So it was a total of about three something that I ended up spending just on these boots, but I did get one year out of them, which again, I ended up cleaning them pretty much every other month or every three months i would end up cleaning them and just putting some leather lubricant that way the leather ends up getting moisturized and being able to stretch if you don't moisturize your leather guys they tend to get hard and of course the leather that gets hard ends up cracking and breaking so always moisturize it i'll leave it in the comments below but this is going to be one year that i've had them further than one year so i think it's time for a new uh boot style so with that being said guys the next video is actually going to be my new boot so as always guys thank you all for the support and let me know in the comments below what kind of boots or new boots i should look into for the future as always guys thank you all for the support and thanks for watching one total week guys